Hello and welcome to the Knife Magazine YouTube channel. Uh, today I'd like to share with you some interesting knives that came in for photography uh, for an article that's going to be uh, coming up in a future edition of Knife Magazine. Now, uh, Knife Magazine, currently in this oversized, uh, glossy, full-color format, but years ago we were a tabloid on newsprint called Knife World. So what you're looking at here is our November 2014 edition, after we added color, and the story here on the bottom half of the cover is called The Ugliest Looking Knife You Ever Saw. And they are pretty ugly knives, but the really interesting thing about these knives is that they were marketed as the ugliest looking knife you ever saw. They were marketed as an ugly knife uh, devoid of fine finish, but built stoutly and sturdily and sold at an inexpensive price to be a, a, a working man's knife. The handles are of, of a plain and rather ugly wood. The mounts are steel. There's no escutcheon. There's the, the actually rough forging marks on the back of the blade. For years these knives were around and they, they have these big kind of ugly markings on them that say either Chris Wolf or Jess Crouch. And we did not know who manufactured these knives other than the knives existed. And eventually the ads were found for the Chris Wolf knife in the Sears and Roebuck catalog. Uh, and it, until recently we had not discovered who sold the Jess Crouch knife, but that has recently been discovered uh, since this article was published. And subsequently there will be an article in Knife Magazine uh, revisiting the ugliest looking knife story and revealing the history of the Crouch knives and where they were, who they were sold by in addition to the Chris Wolf knives. So just quickly take a look at the Knife World article from 2014 and this article and every other article we've ever published going back to 1975, every other issue we've ever published going back to 1975, well over 500 issues, is available on the Knife Magazine website to premium online subscribers. It's $19.95 a year or $9.97 a year if you are a subscriber to the print version of Knife Magazine. David Clark wrote this original article. David's a wonderful researcher and a super nice guy. Uh, and uh, we, we're so glad to be able to partner with him on the, the articles that we have done. So the article goes, it, it pictures Jess Crouch here. And one of the reasons, well really the reason, that David was able to discover that these knives were made by Shet Morgan is that the stamp, which you see in this photograph here, was discovered in the Shep Morgan factory. So here's the actual stamp used to mark a Jess Crouch knife. And uh, this when you press it on an ink pad, here's how it prints out. It, it's the stamp. Um, here's one of the ads. This is an ad for the, for the Chris Wolf knife. Again, we, we, I say we, David. David discovered the ad for the Chris Wolf knife 46 cents in 1920-ish, thereabouts, but it could not find who sold uh, the Jess Crouch knives. So anyway, um, this is a story in its entirety in 2014, but we're about to update it. So here's a Chris Wolf knife. Here's another Chris Wolf knife. You can see the knives are identically stamped and identically made. The handle is, I don't know, the handle might be might be maple or something. It's got some rays to it. I'm not really sure what it is. Um, but a fine-grained wood, and I'm sure it was uh, obtained, what, whatever it was, it was obtained from a very cheap source because these were in, intended as inexpensive knives. They're quite large. You know, you can't tell so much from a video, but when you look at it, these knives are a good four and an eighth, maybe four and a quarter closed. And again, simply made, there's the bolsters are iron, the pins are iron, there's no escutcheon, and the wood is not a, a typical cocobolo, rosewood, ebony that you expect to see on a, on a fine American-made pocket knife. Not to say this isn't a fine knife, 
but it is certainly not a finely finished knife. What you see up here on the, the back of the blade is unpolished, you know, drop forging. Um, the knife wasn't the knife wasn't fully polished. Uh, it, it was, you know, it's got a saber grind, which gives you less area to have to polish. And uh, it was just finished to be a working knife. And, and you'll note what else is missing is the nail nick. There is no nail nick. You simply grab this knife with your fingers and open and close it. And yeah, they have a good spring. Some of these are, are so stiff, they're, they're very difficult to open. You can see how thick of a blade it has. And again, no swedge. They cut every corner possible in making this knife stout, sturdy, strong. It's a working knife. It is certainly not a pretty knife. And yet, they have their own beauty. So the, the Chris Wolf knives were, were sold by Sears Roebuck and Company, and we'll allow the article to reveal who sold the Jess Crouch knives. But here's a Jess Crouch knife. This particular one was made with a bale, although I don't think they all were. But same thing, uh, iron mounts, iron pins. Uh, this particular wood, I'm not sure what it is, but you see the ray pattern in it. Um, could be maple. Stout, as they always are. Um, one day at a knife show with David, we were David and I were looking through a bunch of, of blades that had come out of uh, the Shatton Morgan factory, and well, I'll be darned, we found a, a blade that came out of Shatton Morgan for the Jess Crouch knives. So uh, he added it to his collection, as pictured in the original article. Um, all these knives, Jess Crouches, the Chris Wolves. Um, these are all now in the hands of a, of a new owner, uh, a nice fellow, a friend I, I've known for a long time, and uh, they are here for photography so we can tell the world again uh, about the ugliest looking knife you ever saw, and Shatton Morgan who made them, and how they were marketed, and who actually sold the Jess Crouch knives. Thanks for coming to the Knife Magazine YouTube channel. Give us a like, ask a, a, a question in the comments, or, or post any comment you wish. Uh, tell us what you'd like to see moving forward, and uh, tell your friends to, to come visit too. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.